Hey, what's going on, everyone? Neil Henderson here from Clearview Plastics in Sacramento, California. And today I want to show you a accessory that we're making for guys that are running uh, 3D print farms and uh, or just printing a whole lot of stuff. Check this out, guys. Okay, so what we have in front of us is we have two of our five kilogram Texas sized uh, filament spool holders. Um, and as you can see, we got one that's uh, vertical is uh, is kind of traditional, and then we also have one that is horizontal. So we call this one our Lazy Susan, which is uh, the newer of the developments. And uh, we've had this one for actually quite some time. So uh, the uh, what we found from running our own print farm, we usually run about uh, 15 printers, give or take, uh, over here. And from running the print farm, back when we were running even like one kilogram spools is we were actually even with filament sensors we were going through uh we were probably dropping about 20 percent of the uh filament off of a one kilogram spool so that actually added up in cost uh and just and just failed prints and and etc it it it, it it just it didn't work out all that well. So that's when we actually started looking for uh, these five kilogram spools. And then we sh shortly after that, when we finally got a hold of these five kilogram spools, then we started running into issues of keeping them clean, keeping keeping them dry, and uh, just ensuring that it, that we can get through the whole spool before the the condition of the filament kind of degradates. So in comes our design for uh, enclosing these guys. And uh, for the most part, I would say that both of these are uh, kind of have uh, are, are effective in their own right. But, you know, uh, there's a couple pluses and minuses to, to, to each one. So, you know, going with a more traditional route, um, the our vertical spool holder, it's uh, it's done up on a bearing guided spindle. Uh, so then that way you get r quite the minimum amount of, uh, of drag with that. And so if your printer set up or if your printer extruder isn't really all that powerful, then this is actually probably the ideal way. So um, if you've ever used uh, these large uh, like spools um, or, you know, just if you 3D printed enough, you're going to find out that you're going to get a little bit of what, what I would call a lap back tangle, where the uh, filament kind of laps over itself and causes it to tangle, and then uh, and causes it, that, and then that causes the uh, print to fail. Uh, this uh, that can happen with your uh, vertical spool holders a little bit more, but with this one, we actually developed a small brush on the inside of the spindle so that it uh so uh, to just give it just a tiny bit of drag so that your spool doesn't overspin uh which uh, which is the kind of catches the majority of the problems so overall function on this guy is we've got this ca this cap right here and the filament spool just drops right in what you actually do is you actually fit, feed the filament spool or the uh the spindle in there uh it, when you're it, when you are about to put your spool in and then the uh, spindle drops into this uh, little like side piece down here. So it makes it for a pretty easy um, uh, load and unload. So uh, with this, it, we've built in a couple of uh, like ways to exit out of this uh, enclosure. So uh, you can see I've got a press fitting there. So the idea is, is basically all you have to do is run some Bowden tube to your printer, and uh, which is which is not particularly tough to do. Um, and so you can have it come out the front, the top, and then also the the back side as well. And so that gives you a couple choices as far as just your general setup to help you uh, <clears throat> to to help you run your Bowden tube efficiently and, and get your printers loaded and unloaded pretty easily. So um, now the horizontal spool holder, uh, what we call the Lazy Susan, um, what this is, is it 
is uh, so it's a horizontal spool holder and this runs on two acrylic plates that are uh, separated with bearings on the bottom so uh, and then you can see right out the side we have a couple holes so that you can run the spool either counterclockwise or clockwise uh, and it, and basically in any direction as well so it, again it, what this one actually took some experimentation as we were developing it is to with the bearings on the inside of this lazy susan here what we found out is if they were placed too far outwards then the then the the spool actually spun too freely and uh, i'm sorry if they were placed uh and then if they were placed too far inwards then the spool was uh, was pretty hard to uh it was pretty hard to spin so we found just the right spot where the <clears throat> this spool actually has just a little bit of a resistance as it spins so you never actually you, you that your filament is almost always taut and you never actually get any lap back but at the same time then it's not uh so resistant that your extruder can't pull it so um the 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 plus to the uh to to this lazy susan spool holder is it kind of saves space over that a lot of the time you can run you can run this on top of uh, your enclosure it still actually opens super easy we just have this top panel that nests right in it's easier if you have two hands and uh from there it's a, it's easy to switch out your uh your, your spool and so it just lifts right out we have uh it, we have like a little spindle system in there that uh that the uh center hole just kind of rests right on top of so with this with this uh actual spool holder you could actually run two uh two kilo spools you could run uh even one kilo spool so you have a little bit more of uh a little bit more uh freedom with this one so um we actually uh, we actually sell a decent amount of these uh, for people that are usually printing inside of like a commercial setting and uh so it, it it's it's an absolute must because it keeps your filament clean and the clean filament means that you're going to get less nozzle clogs and keeping them dry we usually put a couple deskin packages in there as well just to help keep things dry and uh and just being enclosed i think really kind of uh, like helps that out but you know the one thing that i think that most people really really want in these that isn't in these is we've actually developed uh a drying system here so i have a my this is, so far this is only on our vertical spool holder and so what we have here is we've got a temperature controller here along with the fan and the heater on the inside and with this we've been able to at a room temperature of about 68 degrees we've been able to get this up to about 40 c to uh to dry out filaments and so this has been pretty effective as a filament dryer and especially on these larger spools to uh to to, to keep them dry now so <clears throat> what i'm not going to do i'm i'm actually we we sell these on our website which is clearviewplastic.com and what i'm what i don't sell what i do sell is i sell the enclosure what i don't sell is i do not sell the electronics setup with this so what i'm willing to do is i'm going to with anyone that purchases this i'll keep it as an option to make the cutouts for these inside of the enclosure so you can order it with the cutouts uh and then um what i'll also do is i'll with your order i'll include a parts list that you can get this stuff on amazon relatively easy and relatively cheaply and so that you can set it up yourself now i'm not going to offer any guidance on how to wire it um that's going to be up to you so that's what i wanted to show you um it, here we usually go through uh about 50 kilograms of filament every single month and uh so these five kilogram spools are uh, seriously a game changer um 
you know, if you guys need help getting hold of some of these five kilogram spools, uh, you know, you feel free to reach out. Um, you know, at this moment, we don't offer them on our website. We mainly just print PETG, black PETG at our place. So it doesn't make sense for us to really sell them, but we can give you some good referrals. Uh, but we do uh, certainly sell these five kilogram spool holders and they're really handy. And if you have any questions, head on over to our website, clearviewplastic.com and uh, check out the uh, shop and then accessories tab to, to, to see these guys. Um, and if you have any questions, just pop us an email at contact at clearviewplastic.com. Have a good one, guys. Thanks so much.